Okay, hi, so what I'm gonna do in this video is connect to a, um, a hosting account using NetBeans, okay? So we'll, what you do is there's three options when you create a new project. Um, and the one we're gonna use here is a PHP application from a remote server. So what this does is it will pull down uh, files and allow us to edit them on our local machine and then it will push them up to the server again after we've finished editing them. Um, so here we go. We're going to go to next. Um, I'm going to call this one Seb Gates because this is the it's an old blog that I used to have. I'm not really using it anymore, so I'm just going to use that domain. And you can see how this works. So I'm going to use PHP seven because that's what I was using on the server. I'm going to go to next. Leave it as UTF eight there. So SebGates.com, uh, and then I've got a profile here but I'm going to create a new one I think um, or I can just edit this I can just edit it let's just call it Seb Gates and you can have a multitude of different um, FTP details here so when you open up different projects you could be FTPing files to different servers but in this case we're just going to use this one right so um, how do you find your IP address? Um, so what you do is you would go into your cPanel. Oops, wrong one. cPanel's behind here, that's it. Um, you would go into server information and then here you'll find your shared IP address if you're using cPanel. So you can grab that uh, and then you can go back to NetBeans, which is here, put it in there. Happy days. The username will be the username on your uh, C panel. So each C panel has a username uh, and it's the primary admin account. Um, sometimes it looks very much like your domain name. Sometimes it can be a kind of hashed kind of mix of different characters, letters and numbers. So I've uh, put a password in here, but I'm not gonna display what that is on the video, but essentially the video goes in, sorry, the password goes into the password section and um, what we need to do down here is come down to initial directory. What you want to do is make sure that your cPanel username is here. You've got home there, right? And then you've got public HTML, which is where all your website files are going to be stored on your hosting account. Next thing to do is once you've got the, that all sorted out, going to press test connection. It says connection succeeded. We're OK. Press OK. Um, now here's the next thing to do, upload directory. Now by, by default, it puts, like NetBeans puts your cPanel username in there. You want to delete that because it won't allow it, okay? So now we just, well, it, you have to create a folder called that to, for it to then go into, but you probably don't want a specific folder within that. You probably want your domain name um, to be, uh, like your, your public HTML as your kind of main folder if you're just gonna put files up to that domain, okay? Now it's fetching stuff, it's found a CGI bin, it's found a dummy file that I put up there, an index.php page, we'll have a look at that, okay? And now it's finished building the, um, the website locally. Now you can see I've just simply got, I've just echoed a string here. Um, it's set up a NetBeans project called Seb Gates. Um, if I change this hello, um, hello World on Saturday, actually what we'll do is we'll look at the website first. We'll see back here is Hello World on Friday. Um, you just put in your domain name up there. In fact, I'll do that here. So I just put in my domain name and it's got that index page, okay? So let's go back to NetBeans and I'm gonna say Hello uh, Saturday. Save now pushes the file up. You see the logs there. Um, I'm going to come back down to here to refresh the page. It's Saturday, so really it's that simple. You can create a multitude of different files. So if I was to create a new file here and call this something like um, about, and I do finish. Now the great thing with NetBeans, of course, you can just drag and drop files and it creates links for you. So let's just link that there and then call it like about us. I'm gonna press uh, save, It'll push that new file up. Yeah, down. So refresh this. 
Okay, and it's got about us. I click that and it goes to the about us.php page. So you're basically good to go. You just do all of the what you would do normally locally on NetBeans and then you just press save and it pushes it up to the server. Now there are different options. You can uh, do it uh, not on save. So maybe you wanted to do a whole bunch of edits in one go, check that everything was okay locally and then push the files. It's up to you. But essentially here you can always just undo anything and if I just save that now, go back and you'll see about is that. So it's pretty much like working locally, but it just pushes the files up as you go. That's it.